This is Sarah. Sarah is a plant scientist at the University of Oxford. Sarah has a random bag of rocks, but she doesn't know what any of them are. So let's see what's in Sarah's random bag of rocks. this time Sarah I don't know some kind of weird looking egg thing with like little wiggly bits wiggly bits can you remember <laughs> where you found it somewhere in the UK definitely okay because it does look like it's got chalk on it and it looks like chert which you would find in the southeast England where they call it a flint just to be different Oh, I didn't realize they were just like they're the same thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. The rest of the world calls it chert, and in the south east of England, chert that you find in the chalk, chalk is called flint. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that's what the steel test. Wait, did you use your fingernail too? Yeah. So it's harder than my fingernail, but the white bit is softer than the key. So there, yeah, that's. Calcite chalk, but the the darker bits are harder than the key, so that's quartz. It looks like quartz. I'm just guessing. It looks like chert, and all the little wiggly lines. To me, they look like uh, it's like a smooth brain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is obviously a Cretaceous brain. <laughs> so I think all the little wiggly lines are from. Infilled fossilized burrow network. Mm-hmm. So you had something on like creatures burrowing through the seabed, and as they were burrowing and eating the processing the sediment, they'll have been pooping. And so it's tra- poop trails. Poop trails, yeah. A lot of the creatures, if you look, there's like there's like little uh, pellets in them. So they use the pellets to like as bricks. Yeah, the poo bricks. Oh, okay. But and because of the chemistry of the carbonate environment from the the chalk is it very alkaline, so all the acid things tend to collect in areas where you've got uh, yeah, acidic conditions, like a poop filled burrow. So that's what you've got there. It's a, a chert nodule that's got loads of. And the chert nodule is probably like a bigger burrow or like a, a piece of organic matter, like a big, big, a big poop, or like a bit of lobster or something, or sponge. And that's probably why they're all burrowing in this area to get their organic matter. Mm. How fascinating. Oh, do you know what I haven't done? Yeah, so the chalk part of it's very So it's porous. porous. Yeah. Oh, okay. So your tongue was sticking to it. What about that, the other bit? It's not, it's just totally smooth and flat. Okay. Yeah, you can't have no grain. Which is the chalk, because chalk's made of tiny little skeletons, mm. coccoliths, and they're fairly small. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that in, Sarah. That's <laughs> fascinating. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> mm-hmm, I'm still trying. Please don't do that. Definitely get it without that. <laughs> <laughs> Squeezing your head. I squeezed your head. <laughs> <laughs>